Hey guys, what's up? It's Tyler DeSantis. This is my YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, this is gonna sound crazy. I had to smoke a cigarette for this, I'm sorry. But God has put me through all these tests and tribulations and trials, okay? All of them. And it's just, I was an atheist up until two years ago. I was like, there's no God because, you know, if God wasn't gonna accept everybody, I didn't wanna fuck with him. And I just assumed that God, I don't know. The way people perceive religion and the way it is, it's way different. But when I seen in the Quran today, this chapter called Time, and it was talking about this clear base and this ginger or whatever is going to be lined with it. That's what the spirit guy offered me. If you watch my Kundalini video, I had sex with the spirit in this man's body. And this man keeps reminding me of Jesus because he had washed my feet, his name, everything. Everything was perfect like it's just he says weird things to me like jerusalem he's called a vagina a portal like just weird ass shit that freaks me the fuck out that nobody else has said to me that he says to me and i'm like you know something that i don't know and it's not that i don't know it i know it but i'm just refusing it so here's what sin is when you get the law and you the law is love first off you have to take the good with the bad period that's what it is that's what it is and everybody sins but to sin to have the law and to know the law and to know that God is perfect and to try to uphold this law is really hard. And so, yeah. So when you have sex with this person who's supposed to be your... I guess it's like when you get married. It's like not a real marriage like the ones here, but a spiritual marriage. It's like merging your kundalinis together and shit. Your two serpents on each side, so there's four that merge into one, that makes the fifth one, which is a river uh, that goes to the collective consciousness or whatever. If you guys are following me, okay. So, basically, I just feel like I need to confess my sins, which is, I fuck somebody else after fucking this dude, and then I'm like, damn it, I fucked up because I knew it was sin, and then I still did it. So I think that's why it's like, they, Tiamat got split, you know what I'm saying? So Tiamat was this Virgo and this Scorpio. She was one. She got split by this Libra that said, this is justice. But the only person who's going to give you justice is God. And that's the only person that we need to confess our sins to. But if you see this pattern over and over and over and over and over in everything, you realize that everything is God. And every other person is God too. And we all sin and we all do wrong and we're all pieces of shit. <laughs> and we all just want to be loved and we're all sad and we all have these voids and we all try to fill them with whatever the fuck you want to fill yours with. Say it, food, sex, drugs alcohol, TV, social media, um, drama, clothes, cigarettes, whatever. And it's like, I've been, from the first minute that God came to me last year, okay, so God came to me on September 8th, that's Mary Magdalene's birthday, okay? And then the fire, that, that felt like water, like love. Now the fire came to me on the 29th of this, like the last day of the year, right? And I was like, I don't know. And the guy took off his necklace and tried to give it to me and said it was silver, put it in a water glass, and then tried to give me a ginger, who told me the realms were real, told me that the best thing to do is live an ordinary life in an extraordinary way. And <clears throat> you have to see, like, I see the pattern, and I don't care if anybody else thinks I'm crazy or what, but I see the pattern, okay? And that's the only pattern that exists. God made the world in six days. Psh, it is done. Boom. That's it. There's nothing else. There is no more. Everything you do, everything that you think you will ever do will be a part of this pattern. And for somebody who is atheist for 25 fucking years, it's pretty crazy that I'm saying like, oh, look, I have this fucking pattern in every fucking book I've ever read. I can find myself in it a million times and let it add up for you. It's like, that's not insane. I get that. I get that. That sounds insane. And today is the 14th, so 14th is temperance, mixing your cup. Here, Babylon the Great, mixing her cup double. So, and I, th since I seen Babylon the Great, I was like, this is me. That's a great whore, it's me. But I'm, in Ifa, the religion, it, it gives to Oshun. Oshun is Obatala's love, basically. So, Obatala is like the main god. That would be like Yah in African religions. And then in Hinduism, it's like, you have Krishna, so that's the creator, the destroyer, and the preserver, or whatever. 
It's all of them. In every religion, it's the same story. In every person's life, it's the same story. In every cartoon, it's the same story. There is nothing new under the sun. There is nothing new. There's nothing new. Any story you give me, I can add it up and show you how it's God. There's always forethought and afterthought. Loki and Thor, Inky and Enlil, Lucifer and Jesus, um, Lilith and Eve. Lilith is the daylight, Eve is the evening. Um, we all know Thor is kind of dumb, and then Loki is a, a, like a menace to society. It's like, pick a side. Are you, are you going to be the bad side or the good side? Because they're one and the same. They all serve a purpose, and it's to teach us a lesson, and it's to teach us this law. And the law is love. And you can write it on your heart, and you can write it on your forehead, or you can write it wherever the fuck you want, but that's what it is. We all sin, and we all want to be forgiven, don't we? I feel like yes. <laughs> I'm going to say yes for everyone. So if that's what it is, and that's how you feel, then just love people and realize that those people are you because we just follow the pattern of God. And if we want to make ourselves like God, we need to act like God. And we need to we need to uphold ourselves to a higher standard. Now, I've been Eve. I've been in the darkness. Because evening comes first and then it's the light. I did my darkness. I've been a prostitute. I've been a stripper. I've been on drugs. I've been out here doing all these crazy things. But was I doing bad? No, not necessarily. But I was still doing bad to myself. And... All these people can sit here in these high positions in society and you guys can say, oh, they're this and they're that because they have money or they're this and they're that because they have a degree or they've made it somewhere according to here in life and you guys can make them some high and mighty motherfuckers. But at the end of the day, like, y'all don't see up the ass into society like I do. Like, I looked in the back door of all these people's lives and the people, the person I see, that's the real person because these people are real with me. And that's why I said to my friend the other day, I said, he said, you don't know me. And I said, Yes, I do. And this man used to make $500,000 and has came down to nothing. He wasted his life away. Well, not wasted his life because he'll come back out. But in this society, like, if you lose everything, it's shitty. And maybe this is me judging him, but maybe it's not. But whatever. <clears throat> I'm not judging. I'm just saying, like, I like to. I'm a control freak a little bit because I'm Virgo. So I try to keep my life, like, of nice even if I'm fucked up so and if I feel my life getting out of control I stop doing things like I quit heroin in one day when I was 19 years old moved to Cincinnati and put myself through college and never touched heroin again it didn't exist like you can do anything you want to do if your mind is strong and you have the mind of the father so that means you can do anything so stop letting these people trick you over money. If you want to stop doing drugs, stop. If you want to go be a doctor, be a doctor. If you want to be a fucking circus fucking carny, do that. It's whatever you want to do, do it. Whatever makes you happy, whatever makes you live your ordinary life in an extraordinary way and makes you feel happy. That's the point of this, is to feel happy. And you cannot feel happy as long as you have a void in you that's missing God. And that missing God is missing your higher self, is missing you, because we're all the pattern. Y'all are all Eve in the dark. Y'all need to come to the light. God's giving you the clear signs. It tells you in the Quran, like, We've given you clear signs. We've sent messengers. We've done. God does not love disorder. Whenever he is told, obey God, his arrogance leads him to more sin, and he's sufficient for him shall be hell. Okay, but if you falter even after our signs have reached you, then do not forget that God is all-powerful and all-wise. And they are waiting for God to appear on the balconies of the clouds. And the matter must be settled, but all things rest for God in the end. Men belong to a single community. And God sent them messengers and gave them happy tidings and warnings in the book with them containing truth to judge between them and the matter of dispute. After receiving clear proofs on accounts of waywardness, jealousies among them. And God, by his dis dispensa dispensation, showed these who believed the way of the truth in which they were deferring. And God shows whom he pleases the path that is straight. So, make way the path that is straight. Separate yourself from doing bad I guess and and what you know what's you know what's right and wrong you know you know in your heart and I I know and I still fucked up like I still fucked up and we all fuck up and I'm just asking for forgiveness and I'm asking all you guys to just see that I'm telling the truth and look at yourselves and judge yourselves and see if are you worthy of going to heaven because I felt like I was a pretty good person and now I'm like mm, maybe I'm not because I don't take no bullshit, <laughs> period.
period. Period. And people are probably going to make fun of me for this video. They're probably going to tell me I'm crazy. You know I've been dealing with it for over a year now and I'm pretty used to it, but this is my testimony to say, listen, there's two sides of this coin and what is right in each situation is situational. To be natural and just to flow with nature, that's one thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you get in this situation, it's like, that's one thing. Let me go back to what I was saying about my story about my friend, though, because I kind of got it off track. But my friend told me, the one who had lost everything, he said, you don't know me. And I said, oh, I don't? And he said, no. And I said, mm, but your other friends do. And he said, yeah, that's my, that's the real person I am. And I said, is it now? Because you're sitting here with me and I know the real you. I know you at your worst. Do I not? And he said, yeah. And I said, you don't lie to me, do you? And he's like, no. Okay, so wouldn't this be your real self instead of the person you're with when you put your mask on? That's what everyone has. They have their mask on for society, and they think that their best self is them. Your worst self is you, too, because you can only be as worse. Like, your lowest you is still you. That's you at your truest. And I see people at their truest in society. I see all these people who are doctors, lawyers, whatever, who smoke crack, who smoke meth, who fucking have sex with prostitutes, and everyone wants to go and put them way up high on this pedestal because they have money, or because they have a fucking name for themselves, or because they went to college, or because they whatever. None of that shit matters. Not your fucking college degree, not your name, not your parents' name, not your money, not your high place that you've exalted yourself and made you yourself some badass motherfucker. Because you ain't shit at the end of the day when you are... When the fucking earth splits open and all you have with you is your sins and what your good deeds. Like, did you do good or did you do bad? Did you judge people or not? Did you listen to the words of God and did you follow his signs and clear proofs or no? So, I just know I had this message to give today. So, I hope you guys listen. I hope you guys um, confess your own sins. I hope that you understand that, like... I just put all my business out there because I don't give a shit what people think about me. Because the only person who can judge me is God. And I know he's going to judge me. Because judgment day is coming. Like I said, like, the day that that spirit came to me, that was the, I think it was Janice's birthday or some shit. But that was like the day of the doorway or the gate opens. And, which is crazy. Which is crazy. Everything I'm saying is crazy. I get it. I know I'm sound crazy but everyone's waking up so here's some truth it doesn't need anything to support it because the truth will always support itself you cannot crucify the truth you cannot you can cut yourself and what you have to cut yourself if you want the truth to fit you you can't lies are easy to fit because you can cut lies any way you want but you can't cut the truth the truth you have to fit to it or don't be in it. And most people will rather blame somebody else for their problems or talk. Like as soon as you talk, it's like, oh, let me say how horrible you are. Or let me say how horrible the next person is. Or let me talk about somebody else so I can put this blame and guilt that I feel off on somebody else. And I'm just telling you, I'm just here to eat my shit and express this truth that I have. And that's it. So you guys can take this information however you like. This is just the message I was like born to deliver basically. So have a good day, guys. Love you. Please share this message. Please comment and let me know what you think. Um, yeah. So, bye.